Thank you to MSI for sending us here to Computex this year, and also thank you to lynda.com. So the Computex Convention Center just closed. That was our last day here, so we have to make this video, and we are making the video about Galax. Now, Galax has a new VR headset called Vision. Are you surprised they have a VR headset? Because I freaking was. I did not expect Galax to have a VR headset. It might remind you a lot of an Oculus headset, and that's not too surprising. It looks very similar, although it does look a little bit tacky with some glossy plastic here, there, and the front of it actually just being a sticker. But that's probably excusable, as this is their developer kit edition. And much like DK1, it's a little bit rough around the edges. In terms of spec, it has a 25 millisecond response time, 1080p monitor with 60 hertz of refresh rate, 100 degree field of view, and it connects through HDMI 1.4b and USB 2.0. It weighs 380 grams without the cable and headband, and yeah, so that probably doesn't sound super amazing. But that might actually be okay. An Oculus Rift is actually fairly expensive, and this vision kit is targeted at a 200 USD price point, which is really aggressive. Is it worth it? I actually don't know. Yes, it's quite cheap, but it's quite cheap. I don't actually know if it's necessarily worth buying. It's a little low spec for me. It might be worth investing a little bit more money. And a big problem that I actually have with it, and the reason why I'm not so sure about it, is that uh, game compatibility. It, it's compatible with some Oculus games, but definitely not all of them. And I assume that once the Oculus consumer version comes out, and once the Vive consumer version comes out, those are going to be able to play some pretty high-end games that this is not going to be compatible with. And those games are going to be more actual games instead of just tech demos. So if you're a developer looking to get into developing for very cheap, maybe this actually makes sense. This is the developer edition, after all. But if you're a gamer looking for a device, I'm not so sure. That being said, they will be releasing an SDK in the future so people can develop for this. But again, that's a lot of SDKs just for VR and it's gonna be a little bit hard of a push. Moving on, we have their graphics cards. I think this might be the fourth or fifth 980 Ti version that we've seen at the show so far. And they have an air cooling and water cooling edition. Their air cooling edition has dual eight pin power and eight phase for those eight pin powers. It's more or less the same cooler that we've seen before on Hall of Fame edition cards with two and a half slots, a hyper boost button on the back and it has some new kind of styled chrome finishing. It had that before, but it looks a little bit different now. I also have to note that there's no announced clock speeds for this card. Moving on to the water cooling edition, it has a custom water block from Bits Power, which actually looks pretty freaking cool. It's a two slot card instead of two and a half slots. It has three eight pin power connectors instead of two, and it has 16 phase power instead of eight. Also, it's a limited edition, so I don't know how many are actually gonna be available, and this one also has no announced clock speeds. Let me know what you guys think about Vision in the comments down below or on Twitter at Luke underscore LAFR. Also, thank you to MSI for sending us here this year. We would not have been able to see the Vision without them. And they have a cool little product link in the video description down below this video. That's the Bitly link that can show you everything that they launched here at Computex. Also, they have stuff like Broadwell laptops and stuff, so you might want to actually check that out. Lynda.com, they also helped us get here this year. Lynda.com slash Computex for a 10-day free trial and start learning today. Don't forget to like, dislike, favorite, share, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.